Hey Collective, let's get some messages for the day. It is the 21st. This is April 2022. What is going on today? What's Collective Energy? Worldwide Collective. Please have three concise messages. Thank you. Amen. On a three. Right, collective consciousness. What is the situation? It's the situation today. Wow, two queens and three of wands. So as a situation, there just beware of any discrimination here. Beware of any, I would say, maliciousness. Just stay clear of that, especially if you're expecting that or if you've been part of that in the past. Try to avoid that. But in terms of expectations here with regard to communication, this could have to do with a cosmic encounter Right, so Cancer ruled Queen of Cups and Libra ruled Queen of Swords. Both of those signs are cosmic partners in the zodiac. So there could feel like a cosmic connection here or a yearning travel um, toward contracts or communication, perhaps with either of those signs or those houses. So fourth house would be their home, foundations, family. Um, your most immediate relatives, and then uh, Libra being seventh house, this is partnerships, and um, this is also contracts, alliances, and, you know, partners of any sort, it can be in business, but whatever this reading is for you, this is just a general reading, and this is the situation, the three of wands gives it that sense of uh, willpower, so we have with the three of wands these expectations, right? So it could be uh, open and honest, clear communication with regard to deep feelings that you are nurturing and that you hold dear to yourself as well because the Queen of Cups sits in the center of this energy. So it could just be um, nurturing this element of yourself and expecting perhaps this from others or vice versa. It's um, whatever that fits for you. These are your thoughts about it. All right, so we have thoughts being in the four of pentacles and then we see the high priestess again. So we have these secrets and these um, mysteries here more than anything. Uh, here as the first major arcana, so your thoughts about the situation here paired with the four of pentacles and that speaks to holding on um, we have four again, and I said fourth house here, so this could just be about stability in general, especially with pentacles showing up. We have stability in finance, in, you know, health. This could be with regard to partnerships, contracts, alliances, um, and, and then, you know, your feelings and valuing emotions, valuing maturing, say, feelings or a sense of intuition here is highly expressed. You could be thinking, feeling more confident about expressing yourself through your psychic energy, through, um, say, different channels, different frequencies, just because we have this intuition intelligence here because this is the intelligence of the heart showing up at the center of the energy for the situation and then more intuition here in your thoughts about it so this could even be um hmm this could be the practice of telepathy 
uh, and sort of wetting your feet with it or feeling like there could be a foundation to be had here. Maybe you're building one. And it could just simply be about a mystery where your intu intuition itself or your psychic sense or your gut feeling, whatever you want to call it, uh, as opposed to your thinking prowess, for example, that's um, you could be expecting something. You've been maybe holding on to a mystery. or So, so you or the other person could be expecting something here. Um, but it's it feels nurturing because of the both of the queens showing up. So this is very now I was gonna say pleasant. Now the Queen of Swords can be accused of being cold. She can be accused of being distant. Um, but that's because this energy has seen everything and heard everything, and you know um, she's going to take and give things on the balance right and then especially with regard to you know expectations around feelings and nurturing really of any sort nurturing whatever it is for you whatever your situation is for you there is a travel energy here as well with the three um, uh, immediate usually immediate relatives um, and short distance travel so yeah, holding on, it could just be like feeling like you're holding on to a mystery, holding back with the four showing up next to the high priestess. All right, what are your feelings? You are the other person's feelings about the situation, which for the purposes of today's reading will always be the three of wands, the queen of cups, and the queen of swords. What are your feelings? All right. You know, this could seem like straddling the dark and the light here as well, just because you have this, like this is a highly intuitive card. I just want to spend a second looking at her as well. This is moon energy. Mm, this is, you know, the shadows. The There's the moon, which is so mysterious to begin with in, you know, popular lore and then there's the dark side of the moon and you know there's even more mystery there so there's that type of energy here with the high priestess she also does have secrets uh, but they may not necessarily be your secrets right they could just be this universal situation where um, you're seeing these occur or are say manifesting this in the 3D or five sense world. So your feelings about the situation, really interesting. We have more pentacle energy and similar to the energy within the situation itself. The three of wands is the seven of pentacles. This is expectations. <laughs> you definitely want something to bloom here. You're just wondering if what you have invested, and again, this is your feelings about the situation. So is an investment going to pan out basically? And because it's a singular card in this space um, for this um, portion of the situation read, it's extremely clear. I mean, there's... And sevens also talk about these moments of maturation as well. Like you get beyond the mastery and perfection that comes with the eights, but an investment needs to pay off here for you. It is pentacles, so this is going to be body money, career, um, finances, resources in general. But because the situation has this cup energy to it, it could be about, you know, how much are your, say, emotional efforts paying off, right? Um, and this is a nice balance, though. There's a really nice balance, even though these are masculine, feminine energies here with the air and the water. Maybe that's what this is about for you, is that is that balance, things on the balance here for you. 
So expectations, and they are great, right? So you're being, I hope you can see his face. But he's actually, he's currently not that impressed. <laughs> so this is in your feelings. You're like, ah. But it's pentacles, so it's really slow energy. So you're, you could be expecting something, or you could want something to happen a little bit faster. Let's see the most probable outcome for this situation today. consciousness here was probably open for this situation. so much energy in these cards here today and I can just tell by this taking as long as it is <laughs> that this is just very, this message well all of these messages for me are very careful and obviously <laughs> um, but this is being very I'm trying to get exact here and feel that there's a very specific message wow Nine of Swords, most probable outcome. We have this anxiety card, right? This sleeplessness. This is overwhelming anxiety. So I'm going to pull more cards on that just because we have a couple of minutes and because that's a pretty difficult card to end a reading on before we look at the external and internal energies. So this is someone who is just, um, you know, this is nightmares as well. This is someone who is all up in their head or feels overwhelmed um, by thoughts of doom and gloom, etc. Okay, can I get a couple more cards? Tell me more about this Nine of Swords as the most probable outcome. All right, and I always take three with the mini deck. Can I have one more? Wow. Okay, and nine of cups in the bottom. So wish fulfillment is playing a part here. You could, yeah, especially if there has been something that's already been lost in the past. So something having to do with your heart. Two majors showing up on top of this nine. So I'm clarifying the nine of swords, which is anxiety, sleeplessness, overwhelmed, uh, perhaps even negative thinking or uh, thought patterns. This just could be old programming whenever we see the swords. If this is a love reading for you or job or situation where there's two directions that you could be taking or you're expecting two things coming in, it could just be causing a little bit more distress than is worth. So I think the situation could be around strategy because here we're qualifying this energy with two major arcanas jumping out. Uh, so the tower, then the death card, and then the seven of swords. So the tower is Mars, we have Scorpio, so we, um, we have a lot of intense destruction and war energy, and then we have that extra depth with Pluto here with Scorpio, and we have that sex death rebirth, and then we have some swords energy. Um, so clarifying this nightmarish stuff is strategy. It's, um, there is, this is considered the deception card, this is trying to get away with something, um, how you present something, how you've presented something. It is, in essence, in a kinder, gentler way, it's it's a, a trying to please everyone energy. Um, it's in thoughts, ideas, communication, 
um, programming whenever we see swords. So you could, this could be going on internally, right? Usually anxiety is going on within, or you could be sharing it with someone else or rather expressing it with somebody else. So if that's the case, it could just be with this tower opposite of it and a total rebirth here in the center. We talk about total transformation whenever we see the death card. And I mean, not just this minor uprooting, we see a sudden uprooting, not something perhaps you'd seen planned. So maybe best, you don't know what to say, they don't know what to say. Um, something that you had intended to say or communicate here or try to strategize around. And, you know, and again, in a kinder sort of energy, there's this sense of going out on your own. There is lone wolf energy here. Um, the sevens is a difficult suit. Like I say, it's hard to say anything super nice about sores just because it's it's cold, right? And it's um, communication and it's our thoughts. So, and many of us are not aware or don't stay conscious, say, of our thought patterns and the way we communicate with ourselves or others, whatever the partnership is, whatever the relationship is. And sometimes we can surprise ourselves, right? Because we'll see here in a moment what's in internal or subconscious energies because, um, you know, sometimes we're just on autopilot. So this is a pretty big deal around this situation. So something's gonna come crashing down with the tower. And then, so we have basically two major collapse cards. The only difference between these is that this happens over time. You sort of expect death as a process, right? It's, it's life and death and then something comes back around. So, and then we have this total collapse, this sudden shattering with the tower it generally means just that something that wasn't built on solid ground is going to crumble, but with the strategy card or even deception or trickery here with the Seven of Swords. Um, very interesting, very interesting to see that energy on top of this. So perhaps honesty is just necessary here if you're looking for, and I was going to say this earlier, I and I'll say it now, but I, I feel here, even when the first couple of cards, I felt like there was this devil on one shoulder, angel on the other shoulder situation. So if that makes any sense to, to you or if that's resonating, I am seeing that here. And that's what I mean, especially having qualified this nine of swords, which is, oh, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a very overwhelming energy and it's not easy. Um, but it usually has to do with the mind. And then you have this five of cups, nine of cups underneath. So you have this heart space, this old disappointment or loss, and then you have a wish fulfillment. So it could just be something coming back around and, and strategizing about that. Wow, five of cups showing up again. Tower showing up. Whoa, okay. So we have a couple of fives here. There are just big, big changes, guys. Just big changes, perhaps, in your income. Ooh, all right, well, let's look at this um, and get into, so we saw the Five of Cups under here, for example. I just glanced briefly at this little deck. I don't want to get too far into this one. Uh, but just, you know, in your feelings. And then we see, look, the Five of Cups showing up in the external energy, the tower that we saw right here for the most probable outcome or qualifying the most probable outcome. So two cards showing up again, and that's just my cue to, you know, this is all it is. This is just what's happening. Um, but this is actually quite wonderful to see these opposite of one another with the so uh, Ace of Swords in the center. And Ace is always a welcome card in any reading. And here we have Mastery of Thought, okay? We have clarity of thought. This is actually genius, and this is overcoming, okay, through your own mental prowess. You could be receiving a lot of upgrades, level ups, what are they called? Like um, like ascension signs here uh, that are starting to take route for you, and I would say if that's the case for you, try not to be so greedy about the outcome right now. It is going to come, and it's going to come in its own time. That's the beautiful thing about it. Your job is to just be open to it, receptive to it, <clears throat> and to do the work you can do, right? 
Uh, but this is actually quite wonderful. So we see the tower opposite of the five of swords, uh, seven of swords down here. So a collapse of perhaps a strategy or um, you could be fooling yourself. It could be self-entrapment within your own thoughts, old programming, old. It could even just be um, how you left something, like a conversation or something like that. So opposite of the tower being the five of cups, which is that disappointment and loss. And it is a heartache, but it's mostly just a loss. We see with this seven of, uh, rather this ace of swords in the center, a brand new vision. So this is actually quite lucky energy. I'm reading this as, and you might overcome something very suddenly here. And there could be a great deal of healing, particularly within a peer group or with someone who you felt perhaps rejected by or you rejected or felt left out. Maybe you just shuttered yourself out. Maybe this is, I mean, we do see some sudden, I would say a return, right? With this rebirth card here. Um, yeah, it could just be a little bit, maybe nerves, like expectations, but it, it is very interesting. Here we have our second five right? Not counting the guy under here because he's a repeat of the Five of Cups, but star, healing, Aquarius energy, um, humanity, right? And then we have this circle of friends, reunion energy, and then this left out. So someone could just need to build back up. Someone may need to, you were the other person or the situation calls for, um, a general acceptance Okay, sorry if you hear my belly grumbling. <laughs> um, uh, I'm just, I'm hungry, but yeah, I want to, I wanted to do this reading first because it was just so important that I did this when the feeling strikes and for overall energy, we have some more pentacle energy. So even if you were, you could have been sick for heaven's sakes and now you're bouncing back, right? You're solid, you're on solid ground, but you want to build back that relationship with yourself you feel that partnership. We have some soulmate energy here. So if this is a love reading for you, this could just be a bounce back and um, trying to figure out what to say and how to present yourself and uh, etc. If not, this is just about building yourself, becoming true to yourself, finding that firm foundation, leveling up. Here we see particularly with the high priestess showing up in your thoughts. You have a great deal of clarity. Please don't give up. Please don't give up on yourself or the momentum that you have because I think you should have great expectations. I think you should shoot for the moon um, and then, you know, and reach for the stars and everything else. So get out of your head and get into your heart space here and trust your intuition. You are on the right path. That's what I'm seeing here, guys. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope it was helpful to someone out there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.